Alright, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we are in Meridian. We've been doing a bunch of the, uh, the side quests available uh, because we for being in and around Meridian. Uh, so without any further ado, uh, let's keep doing all these things, alright? So if we take a uh, quick look here at the map... Um, Ah, uh, yes, that's what we were going to do. We were going to do Hunter's Blind. So, Talana has accepted a Hunter's Lodge contract that Assis refused. Uh, Assis being the asshole in chief of the Hunter's Lodge. Uh, helping a village under constant attack from machines. What could be causing the onslaught? Um, I believe we had a representative from the village come and tell us that they were being constantly attacked by Glinthawks, uh, but they had so few shards, which is why Assis refused. Uh, Lone Light, we've been to them in, before. They are uh, up here. Uh, we uh, we visited Lone Light after defeating the Thunderjaw. So uh, let's head to Lone Light and uh, see if we can help. I'm just noticing we're going to have to go by this Thunderjaw site and uh, hope it doesn't kill us, basically. Alright. Off we go. Lone Light is a thousand steps away from Meridian. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, that's the campfire icon. Uh, just right above um, my uh, my reticule there, I saw an icon. I thought it was a scan me icon, but it's actually a... Uh, hey, here's a campfire. Uh, as I was saying, Lone Light is a thousand steps away from uh, Meridian, according to the uh, go here marker on the screen. I am going to walk though, rather than grabbing a mount, because uh, as I'm sure you can tell if you look in the top left, I'm out of healing items. So uh, I'm going to gather healing items as I go. Not the town prior. Fire and murder, Captain Ursa. We should march on Sunfall as soon as we. Shadow Carja at the cleft, her and her men. Need to try and not fall off the cliff to the right there. I believe there's some healing items around here usually. Just the one, I guess. Here they come. 
no, pla please, please don't come, because that's a uh, a thunder jaw. If I keep working on my spear in the cauldrons, maybe I could override that. Yeah, they're they're scary enough. Um, just normally, I don't need the light being like super emphasized by the fact that it's dark. Well, somehow I managed to get past without aggravating it. I'm gonna take it as a win. Part of the problem with trying to gather healing items is that uh, um, medicinal items and fire kiln root are roughly the same color. Uh, and here in Karja territory, there's a lot of fire kiln root. So um, I am often accidentally going after fire kiln root instead of healing items like I actually want. Well, there's Lone Light up there, and over there is where we fought the uh, the Thunderjaw. Uh, which is apparently fighting something. Save these for the trail. As you can tell from the uh, the screen shakes, like that. Some Karja Outlanders. Oh, you poor sods. I am not taking that Thunderjaw on right now. I don't have the healing capabilities to do that. Shake, shake, shake. Take a screen. Is that like a... Yeah, that's like a spire coming out of the top of the gazebo there. About time you showed up. More Glen Hawks incoming. Should be dead now. Come on, you should be crashing right about now. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll do you. More coming!
Get out of the way, Talana. Ah, I just realized I'm standing in freeze. Make me go up there to fight you, all right. I will gather all the resources and then I will go talk to Talana. I'm just gonna refill my arrows here. There we go. Aquax, Ridgewood, I'm gonna get the Ridgewood. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. They must be attracted to the kills I saw upriver. I should go back, but if more attack here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. Uh, Talana remains an interesting character. Um, so the kills that Aloy's referring to is uh, a while back, you may remember, um, we actually found uh, a little outcropping over there, uh, up the river, where there were a massive amount of snap maw uh, carcasses. Uh, just dumped in in a little, little ravine, and um, now given that Glinthawks are scavengers, uh, they uh, they harvest parts and resources from um, from fallen machines. Having a massive pile of dead machines would be very attractive to a to a Glinthawk. So. Uh, I remember saying when I found it, like, this had better come up later because you don't just drop something like that and then leave it and then not explore it. So I'm glad that it's coming up later and they're not just dropping it and leaving it alone. Never know when I might need these. For when I'm accidentally standing in a cloud of freeze that's doing perpetual damage and I don't realize it. Oh, would you look at that? The thunder draw is back up to full health because I didn't engage there. Lovely. I can see some glint hawks uh, flying over the little uh, crevasse there, so uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Actually, this raises an interesting opportunity uh, because Glintox primarily attack with um, with freeze um, attacks. I'm going to switch to the Banuk Ice Hunter Heavy um, outfit, and I am going to put on it. Um, what do I want to put on it? On it, I want to put up uh, resist freeze weave because. You know, go big or go home. Um, and what else am I going to put? I'm going to put 
Uh, ranged attacks, melee attacks. I am going to put... Well, this stealth weave also includes a resist freeze, so sure, yeah. Uh, so plus 8 stealth weave with plus 5 resist freeze and a plus 23 resist freeze with an, with an additional plus 7 to, for ranged attacks and corruption. 8% there. So, uh... Aloy, looking good in your, uh... stealthy ranged freeze resistant outfit. Which was actually probably going to be very beneficial for this fight. Corruption Glaze Root, but it uh, crashed right next to the Corruption Glaze Root, so I guess I got Corruption Glaze Root. Corruption Glaze Root. Because <laughs> how many times can I say that in a short amount of time? That many. Not that I was really trying, to be fair. Alright, investigate the area. That can be done. Search Snap Mob. Yep. There we go. There are snap mock carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Gruntalks were drawn here. As I said. Investigate the area. Whoever did this must have left tracks from the blinds. Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow. Ooh, Aloy throwing some shade there. Might as well gather the resources here while I can. Concentrate fire on a target makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat and a wasteful one, too. Strong feelings. Uh, I did not go this way when I came. I think I came from this way. Uh, la last time I was here, and I went down, I did not go up. I guess I didn't look right. These must be the Snap Maw Hunters. I wonder if this is going to go well. I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. 
Seems your kill zone is creating a Glinthawk problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough Snapmaw hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? Oh, well that makes things interesting. Uh, Aloy's not really the threatening type. She's at least not the way I'm playing her. She's uh, she's pretty reasonable and caring. So I'm going to compromise. No one wins if we fight. Surely we can reach a compromise somewhere short of death. We've been harvesting snap maw hearts for days. I only need one more and then I can settle my debt and save our home. If I get the last heart, do you promise to stay away? It's a good deal. Ibasha took a hard hit with that last one. Okay, fine. We need the shards. I'll do this for you once, and once only. Stay here till I get back. I'm pretty sure I have a snap my heart. I don't. That's a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna loot your supply crates though, just cause you're an ass. I was a little confused there as to which way I should go. I guess I can go either way. My focus is receiving another signal. Ah, over there. Looks like we're near, uh, near this tall neck. Close enough to that tall neck anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that another time. What's this mission over here? Uh, to old acquaintance. Oh, yeah, there's the one, um, uh, Osiram Outlander or something like that over here who sent, who asked me to look for her husband over here. Looks like the signal is coming from that tall neck. Another time, Aloy. We will go to that tall neck another time. Not gonna attack. All right.
This is just incredible to watch. <laughs> ah! Somehow it it spotted me. Now, remembering that the override only lasts for a certain amount of time, um, I'm going to try and make sure that uh, I uh, take care of things before that snap mob becomes unoverridden. Got it. Now to bring this back to those hunters. it didn't trigger that trap. Maybe it's because it's over currently overridden? I think I got three snap my hearts out of that, so um, I'll take it as a win. Maybe only the two. I thought I saw when I got the first when I killed the f uh, when I looted the first snap that it said two snap my hearts, but that would seem a little odd to get two out of one machine, so. There, the heart you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. Aloy. Talana, what are you doing here? Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait, are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? <sighs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. All right. Of course it was some kind of test because, you know, of course it was. Well, um, with that, I'm going to call an end to the episode uh, there. Uh, you know the drill. Click over th there. That way. <laughs> uh, I normally point with this hand. Over there. Eh. Uh, <laughs> um, and I will see you next time. All right. See you then.